Okay, so in this question, an object of mass 2 kg is thrown vertically downwards with an initial kinetic energy of 100 joule. What is the distance fallen by the object at the instant when the kinetic energy has doubled? Okay, fine. So uh, let us say this is the building from which uh, the body has been thrown down. But this time it has not been dropped. So u is not equal to 0. It has a kinetic energy with itself and that is given as 100 joule. So we can find the velocity from this, but that is not required now. So what is uh, required in the question is, what is the distance fallen by the object? So when the body is descending down, the potential energy is getting converted into kinetic energy. So it says that the final position kinetic energy is doubled. It means 100 joule of more energy has been added into the kinetic energy. So kinetic energy initial. Uh, so I can say the potential energy plus kinetic energy initial is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy uh, final. So accordingly we can see the change in energies and uh, kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial will be equal to potential energy initial minus final. So not too unnecessarily complicated simple 100 joule of is the total energy so now this will come out to be 200 minus 100 so 100 is equal to mgh mass is 2 g is 10 h is equal to 100 and from there we can find our h which is coming out to be 5 meters the principle that i have used is that in conservative field conservative field the field in which there are no losses of energy so in conservative field the total energy initial is equal to total energy final on an easy method if, if you are not interested in complexing it unnecessarily we can say that there has to be a gain in kinetic energy at the expense of potential energy so potential energy is now converted into kinetic energy this is what we have done so with this let us uh, verify the answer once and yes the answer is b all the best bye